I don't know who Burst is gonna play against Weak Fit. I think oh, Inkling. Well, I was gonna say I think this character pool is like really good for Wii Fit, but we've been seeing like we saw how good. Three, two, I'm I'm hoping because Inkling is, is in this matchup is just gonna be as good as how Fox is, like able to low profile a lot of stuff, good first damage, good first combos. In the knockback confirms to kind of shut down we fit but so good pop is definitely somebody who's been adjusting himself slowly to players so we'll see how he can handle that mm -hmm. yeah i agree with you i think we uh england's a good choice against we fit yeah and if not you can uh, do like that too yeah yoshi uh, maybe to a lesser extent uh right now man he's uh trying to force his way in Kind of getting tagged by these projectiles a little bit too much. Oh my god, he just exploded. He literally just dropped that downer on him. With the eye too, but I feel like he just didn't expect that to happen and he was just like, damn, I guess I didn't get it. He's untaggable too. <laughs> my mind is just mashing that roller. He's like, please, please get hit by this. I, I need this roller into a free smash attack. Yeah, I think. Like that ink too. He's out of ink. Up air is going to be the option here. Oh, nice. Good down tilt. Like I said, uh, we fit trainer only extends for her box when she's going for the pull up animation. But before she does that, she's literally not able to get hit by down tilt. I think uh, England's a good choice in this matchup too, just because England actually has really good ledge pressure. Oh, a lot of options to like make it so that so good pop can't just throw the projectiles at the ledge like he normally does. Yeah, spot bomb is definitely one of those tools. Spot bomb, back air, neutral air, like you name it, pretty good. Pretty good tool. Well, uh, good call from nowhere also. Oh my goodness, the very roller barely caught his leg. The very last hitbox for the roller. Ooh. That was a really good call out. Like he's the the spot bomb on purpose to either force the low or to like force him to try to recover earlier, and then he still went enough time to like fine. My forwarder has a really good disjoint, and that's enough to cover you. Nice string there. Oh man. I don't know where he's going with that spike, but this opportunity here to keep him pinned up the ledge and over the spot on the force knob the uh, action here. It's, yeah, he still got hit by like the soccer ball or whatever, but he forced him to get off the ledge. I did not even see that both characters are flying off the stage for some reason. <laughs> Playing here though, so he has to like knock him far away and then get the charge. Yeah. So good is actually doing a pretty solid job of like staying at the right, respecting like those options. Oh no! Nice. No, that was so smart. So he used a splat bomb there to force him to uh, just jump. Cause that's what he keeps doing to get past it. And he's like, all right, I know you're gonna jump here to land. I'll just position this like pivot force smash to catch you. Yeah, and I talked about how like burst is really good at just throwing splat bomb and splat bomb versus options, especially from below at that the ledge. Like we saw how like. Fine, you want to go extra low to avoid the spot bomb. Fine, I can get off the stage, or you want to come up high. I can call that out. Like, spot bomb forces options in a really good way. But also, like, so good pop was also doing a pretty good job of, like, understanding okay, my game plan has to solely remain the same with some small adjustments and avoiding things like that. But at the last second burst, we got a really good, like, good finish on that one. Sensing that he was going to try to, like, avoid the spot bomb on purpose. Yeah. This, this is why he's using Inkling in this matchup in the first place. Yeah. He doesn't, can't just hang on the ledge for free and just shoot the volleyball and the uh, sun salutation. He, he was doing the other matchups. Yeah, we'll see what works if uh, PS2 works out here for uh, Sogo Pop. Yeah. That was tough too. I feel like sometimes in situations, like some players do kind of get caught up in their own running animations. And the fact that like he was dash dancing kind of like just looking at him. Oh my god, that 
down there connected? Yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. That, that spotter shot has got a dish right now. I can't tell if like the explosion from the, the spy bomb like stung the hitbox on down there or not. That just looked really weird. It did. Uh, take it. That's a huge lead when you're inkling. Okay, that's a really like inkling rarely gets early kills like that. So. Yeah, and it's true. And also the one thing My that makes the Wii Fit as a matchup is like you do have ink on uh, you. This guy is literally just mashing roller. <laughs> he doesn't even care. He had full screen roller and it hit. A little bit of UCY though, like he's doing a really good job of understanding like firing if you want to retreat, like walk walk back towards the ledge. I can hit you with roller on your way out and close the distance. Just as like Fox would try to go for like something like uh, you know, a dash attack or a man. Yeah. It's working, so I, I'm, I'm not knocking him for going for it. Yeah. He's not getting punished even when it hits shield. Mm -hmm. And Roller is basically an advancing berry. Like, he's gonna hit you with that at some point. Oh. I like the neutral beat into the jab. Got covering him in ink there, getting all the extra percent. The trade with the spot on the soccer ball. Still living, dude. You got 175%. Okay, finally, Gun has the air dodge, but dude, that's a huge leap. It, ever since he got that spike on the first stock, like, this has been all burst right now. It's been really good for burst to go for splatter shot when he's so good to pop go for deep breathing. Because the fact that Splatter um, Shock has like a pl uh, push effect, like for say flood, it pushes him a little bit away from the speed. Uh, and it's just free percent anyway. Few percent free ink, you also have a little bit of a flood effect. It's a three or one win there. And force him to get do something off the ledge. If he was a bit a little bit faster on his down smash, could have caught the roll there too. Yeah. Nice, good, good, good up there from still good pop. Didn't want to overcommit to something like a jumper or a goal, where he could have been punished. Oh, nice. Finally looking to just pop up on a stop here. One three. Uh, SGP can definitely take it. This is gonna be a back throw. You up into the edge guard phase. Oh, big snipe. He's out of here. Wow, what a catch. <laughs> He didn't even like charge Splat Bomb either. He just like tossed it at him on nonchalant. Still got the kill there when he was going low. And what a snipe there. So now Burst is a uh, game away, man, from winning this whole tournament. Winner's side. This might be okay, the Inkling is definitely a really good pick for him. Yeah, yeah. It definitely. It's, it's like. Like I mentioned earlier, the character's toolkit really puts a dent. I wouldn't even say put a dent, just puts a giant hole on Wii Fit Trainer's plans. <laughs> so we're going to have to see how Soga can definitely bring it back. I think he's been doing a pretty solid job of like still being able to cover, you know, still being able to go for things like deep breathing. He's getting his combos down and still going for a soccer ball, which is good because like it stops the speed and the momentum that Burst would like to do to just get in. It's, you know, it slows him down a little bit, but like... Oh. First anti. Yeah. I didn't is, know that the spire shop stops the soccer ball too. I was gonna <laughs> it's everything. I was gonna say like I just noticed that. Oh, he has uh, so many tools to just negate these projectiles from Wii Fit. Oh, jab into the or sorry, back into the jab. Too bad he didn't have enough ink though. That could have been way more percent. Yeah, he's got a, and I, I like the fact that he's not going for time to like get ink. He knows he has to move away or kind of like find out, box out, um, still good pop just to finally get some ink. Mm -hmm. I think the one thing that I'm liking that Burst has done versus several other players that I haven't really demonstrated is always looking to jump out of the shield or jump over things like soccer ball. Like we kind of saw a little bit with Nito, but then he lost a lot of that, and then Burst is like, Consistently keeping that up. Yeah, he just has the character that's really good at moving around, like all these projectiles too. So it just helps him out in general. Oh man, barely missing the down smash there. Oh, Barry on the jab, and he has no ink here, so he has to uh, knock him away. Yeah, he either has to box him out or find a way where he can retreat and engage, like so. Oh, went crazy off stage there. No legend invincibility. But he's, oh, what? Was he trying to stall in the, in there? I feel like he, he jumped a little bit too low and then he got, um, 
he hit his head on the top part of um, the underside of like Pokemon Stadium too. Then that can't happen. You can understand. Well, so we're probably gonna take that free stock all the way to the bank. Oh yeah. Getting pineapple in PS2 kind of hurts because it's really difficult to see under the stage. Oh my goodness! Almost dying to his own soccer ball. Say if he dies, that would be crazy. Let's have to burst though, just trying to like get the stock as soon as possible as well before like so good pop and get more of an advantage. But look at that that lead. 160, nothing answered, 55% onto Burst. Oh yeah, you can see, like, uh, Burst... I'm trying to get the point of yeah, Burst is getting very, uh, impatient with his approaches. It's because he was desperate for the stock. Like, that's just gave Sugar Pop so much, uh, percent. Uh, 71. Oh man. Projectiles are starting to fly now. He has the deep breathing active as well, so you gotta be careful. Mm -hmm. One one mistake, one misspaced out aerial, that could be the stock. Oh, close. I like it too, he's going for downer consistently just because like he knows he already let go of the ledge. Or oh, just run up with the game with the deep breathing up tilt right in space. The easy easy uh, stock there. Opportunity though, going in the free fall. A dash down? Uh, nope. A um, no double back there. Uh, my guy really just gets to do full screen rollers. <laughs> I haven't seen him miss that a single time yet. Okay, uh, uh, there's your opportunity. Oh, oh the B snipe. That was so good. That was really good for Burst there. Burst has a six percent opportunity to actually get a, uh, a kill. Yeah, nice up smash out of shield. Unsafe dash attack there from uh, so good pop. So now. Just pretty much dropped this all the way back. I can respect it from so good pop because he had literally tossed three, two projectiles at him, and he was either looking for a shield poke or just enough for a like burst to let go of shield. But this was not gonna fall. Oh my goodness! Okay, burst is taking off on this stock, doing so much percent. Be careful though. Deep breathing is so scary, especially now that he's getting tied by all these projectiles. Nice, man, out of shield. Ooh. Okay. We're gonna take the time to charge up too. Yeah, good jump from. Burst is kind of on into. Gotta be careful. Oh my goodness, these rollers. I didn't plan for them though. I really, really would. Cause you're just a oh, he caught the landing. It's just enough to kill. That's crazy. He got the landing and he like 